Welcome back. I'm delighted to welcome from Rochester Regional Health, Dr. Kelly Montmati to the show. Doctor, great to have you in studio. Thank you. Our subject is stroke. There's a, a real focus on it here in the month of May. But as folks know, it's, it's a year-round condition. People are, you know, can have a stroke at any time. Uh, let's start with uh, what, what, what signs of stroke are. What, what stroke signs might look like to people, how it presents. So, um, as you said, strokes can happen at any time, and that's one of the characteristics of a stroke is that it really comes out of the blue, hits you like a truck, like uh, you were fine one minute, and all of a sudden you have symptoms. And those symptoms typically are uh, weakness on one side of the body in an arm or a leg, or weakness in the face, a facial droop. Um, sometimes you can have speech difficulty, whether it's slurred speech or difficulty thinking of the words or getting your words out. And sometimes there's a loss of vision, particularly on one side. What happens to our body when we're having a stroke? What does that mean? So um, a, a stroke is a cutoff of blood flow to a part of the brain. And our, our brain needs blood flow continuously for it to keep functioning. Mm -hmm. And when blood flow is cut off to the brain, uh, neurons start to die. And our neurons, our, our brain cells, um, during a stroke uh, can die at a rate of uh, 1.9 million per minute. Okay, and at that point you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, I was surprised to learn uh, that more, more and more younger people are suffering strokes. Is that right? Yes, that's true. There was a recent study that came out that showed that the um, incidence of stroke in, in patients in their 30s and 40s has increased over the last 10 years or so. And uh, uh, along with that, those patients are having increase, uh, uh, increase in the number of traditional stroke risk factors. Um, risk factors such as high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, and smoking. So those are the red flags. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we do? How do we respond in, in, when somebody does have a stroke? What is the proper response? So if, uh, if you or, or a loved one has any of those symptoms that I described earlier, um, and, and we actually have an acronym to help people remember those symptoms, the acronym is FAST. Mm -hmm. That's FACE um, so for a facial droop or facial asymmetry. Um, ARM for an arm that's weak or drifts down. Um, S is for speech, so any acute uh, onset of speech abnormality. And T stands for time, in, in time to call 911. So that's what you do. You call 911 and you don't uh, call your doctor or drive to the hospital. You call 911. Let's just touch on, as we wrap up, uh, some preventative uh, measures that people could take to try to avoid a, a stroke. So uh, the more, most important thing is to know your risk factors for stroke and to treat those risk factors. So um, high, high blood pressure is one of the main risk factors. Yeah. Um, so you should be um, seeing your doctor, getting checkups, find out if you have high blood pressure, and if you do, um, treat that. And treat your other uh, stroke risk factors like diabetes if you have diabetes, high cholesterol, and if you smoke, you need to quit smoking. All right. We will leave it there. Doctor, thank you. We really appreciate it. Thank you. More information online at rochesterregional.org. Search stroke when you get there. We'll have that link on our site as well at rochesterfirst.org.